Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to create interactive quizzes with Google Slides. I've got a video for example and then I can create different kinds of questions like true and false questions or multiple choice questions. If you want to make the quiz more exciting you could create something like a who wants to be a millionaire quiz. So you have got four options and each option links either to a wrong or right slide. Which London railway station is featured in Harry Potter? In this example, you have got a timer included. This is just an animated GIF which counts down. You give your students five seconds time to think of the country. This is not perfect because the timer keeps going on and on and not restarting, but this is not a big problem. This example is an easy one to do. Just give a picture with numbers and the students have to write down the body parts. And all you need to do is click on the numbers and you give the students the solutions. This trick works particularly well if you've got an interactive whiteboard. Last but not least, you could create a Google form with a questionnaire. I've created a screenshot of the question. So first step is I discuss the question with my students. Then the students scan this QR code, which links to the form. And finally, I can show the answers simply by clicking on this icon, which I've linked to the summary of responses. And here is how to do it. For the first example, I've just got some icons. I add an animation for each icon I've created. And that's really all there is to it. So we can discuss this and go through this. Multiple choice works very similarly. I just create a shape circle. I click the right answer. And then I make this transparent and the line red. All I need to do to copy this is control click and I can create copies of this. And again, I animate each of the right answers. And here we go. The who wants to be a millionaire? quiz is a little bit trickier to do. You have to create four shapes with the answers and you link each shape to either a wrong or a right slide. So the wrong slide is simply the next slide and the right slide is the following number. The trick with this kind of quiz is that you have to create a shape that covers all of the slide and links back to the previous slide. Then you make this shape transparent. That's all there really is to it. You click here, it's wrong, you click on the slide again and it goes back to the previous slide. For the timer I've simply inserted an animated GIF and copy each slide duplicate each slide with the timer on it and exchange the flag. The example with the numbers is particularly easy to do. You just write down the answers and you add one animation and you animate by paragraph. And that's all there is to it. And finally, the Google form. For the Google form, I create three elements. First, I create a form and with this Nagit extension, I create a screenshot so that I can go through the questions. Then I create a QR code using the Google URL shortener and save it to my drive. And finally, I go to the summary of responses page and copy the URL code. Back in my presentation, I go to insert image. First, I insert a screenshot so that we can discuss the questions. Then I insert the QR code. Make it bigger. 
And finally, I insert an icon and link it to the result page. If you want to embed your quiz on your class website, blog or LMS, like here, you have to go to file, publish to the web, start publishing. And you get an embed code here, double click, right click and copy, and you can paste it into your blog. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go to my blog or YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on how to learn and teach with free Google tools.